What's going on everybody, it's Veraxity, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make an artificial intelligence voice activated assistant like Siri. Only unlike Siri, this is going to be in Python. And basically, I'm going to break it down for you and make it a little bit easier for you to understand AI in general, alright? So, I find artificial intelligence an interesting subject. The fact that you can program something and make it learn, that's pretty cool. And yeah, so basically, you're only going to need like two things for this. One of them, you're going to need to download and install Python. Super simple. Just head over to the link in the description for that. And I guess you don't need this, but Visual Studio Code is a really good code editor, alright? It's my go-to, and the libraries that it supports are Python included and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. So once you have a Visual Studio installed, you actually can just navigate over to here, type in Python, and install this Python extension right here. But alright, so let's create a new file. Now for our case, we're just going to name this walmartsiri.py. Because if you're coding in Python, you need to put a .py at the end of it. But alright, so now that we have our Walmart series script here, uh, we could start writing our script. So basically, this is going to be a little bit to write, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. If you want to see, you know, letter by letter, you could uh, just knock that video in like half speed or something. But I will be explaining it after I type it, so uh, yeah, start the compilation. So right here, to start off our script, we're going to be importing all of these libraries right here, alright? This includes speech recognition, as SR, PYTT, SX3, DateTime, Wikipedia, web browsers, so we can get our artificial intelligence actually to access the web browser. You know, you want to pull up YouTube or something, you tell it to pull up YouTube, and it will actually pull up YouTube on your computer. OS, so it can access your operating system and other ones like Subprocess, eCapture, Wolfram Alpha, JSON, and Requests. So once you got all that typed out, we can move on to the next step. So we're just going to write a simple print statement to check and make sure everything is loaded correctly. Alright, now we're going to need to set up our actual robot voice that we're going to be using. It's pretty much going to be just like a text-to-speech thing. Not going to be super lifelike like Series is now, you know, I'm not a million dollar company. I'm just showing you the easiest way to do it for right now. So what we're going to be typing is this. Engine equals PYTTSX3 dot init SAPI5. Voices equals engine dot get property voices. Engine dot set property voice and voices zero dot ID. Now once you have this, it should be all attached and working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of functions and these are going to be our main functions, all right? Alrighty, so once we got these three functions set up, we're going to add some contents to them. So press tab to indent, and then engine.say text, and engine.run, and wait. There it is. So under the wish me function, we're going to be doing this. We're going to set it up so if it's, you know, daytime, afternoon, or nighttime, we're going to make it say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So just kind of basically try to bring it to life, you know what I mean? So indent, you're going to want to write hour equals daytime dot daytime now dot hour. And here you're going to be seeing a lot of this throughout our whole project. And these are going to be if and else if statements, all right? So to demonstrate, we're going to type if hour greater than or equal to zero and less than 12. Speak good morning. You get it? You get it? Let me just fix that. Sorry. So we're also going to add elif or else if hour is greater than or equal to 12 and less than 18. We're going to make it speak good afternoon. I don't know why that took me so long to type. But for our final statement here, we're going to add else, colon, beak, good evening. Also forgot to add some semicolons, I mean colons up here, and that. So now that we have that, that should be good. So now we're going to be working with the take command function. So whenever you speak into your microphone, this is what's going to make it work, all right? So let me just run through this real fast. You can slow it down if you want, and then I'll explain what everything does later, all right? But also, I'm going to have this file available for download if you want to grab the source code real quick. So it's completely up to you.
All right, so now that we got this take command function all complete, I'm gonna show you basically how it works. So this is where we add the module to listen to your microphone. Yes, Siri listens to your microphone. Siri is listening to you, oh my God, run. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, basically it doesn't store it anywhere, it just listens to your microphone because it's gonna have to if you want it to be voice activated. Right here we tell it what language, spelled this wrong, whoops. And if it can't hear you, it's gonna print out and say, I didn't hear you. Just is like a fail safe, right? And then it's gonna retry to listen again. And so yeah, let's get on with some functions that we can add to it. Functions and features, all right, some fun thing. We can make this robot do anything. If we really wanted to, we could make it a complete asshole. But I don't think we're gonna do that today. Or are we? I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is where all those if and else if statements pop up. So I'm just gonna make a couple of them and then I'm gonna give you the rundown because then you can add your own if you wanna learn. It's super simple to add your own and I could show you just how to do that. So let's get on to it. So right here, as you can see, we have set up this, this, and this. Right here, we got the part where it asks, what can I do for you, right? So you call upon this here creation that we're making, and you're like, you know, I need help. And he's like, what can I do for you? That's what we made this thing right here do, this while statement. Also, you'll notice we put if goodbye is in the statement or okay bye is in the statement, or turn off is in the statement. We make them speak, see you later, and then it breaks, and then the whole thing shuts off. Blue screen 404 error. But also we set up the Wikipedia module that you remember we imported back up here. So it's gonna speak searching the wiki if Wikipedia is in the statement that you say, and then it's gonna read off the results down here. So if you wanna add your own features, it's as simple as this, watch. Else if open YouTube in statement statement. Can you guess what we're going to make it do? Web browser dot open new tab HTTPS colon slash slash YouTube dot Com, and then we're gonna make them say YouTube is now open and then we're gonna sleep them for three seconds So the thing that's really easy about this is tell me if you pick up on a pattern you ready I'm gonna create a couple of more statements and then I'm gonna show you so here as you can see We got one that says open Google if open Google's in the statement that the user says it opens Google and also your Gmail. Isn't that nifty? But yeah, let's just test this out right quick, all right? Let's test them out. We're gonna hit F5 on our keyboard to debug, and then we're gonna hit the Python file. As you can see, we got some loading going on down here. Loading Walmart Siri, LOL. Oh, it's listening. LOL, <laughs> it is listening. Look at that, we're getting some input. Sweet, doesn't know what to do since I haven't programmed it to do anything yet. Open YouTube. Oh, look at that, it worked. So we're gonna stop it. It looks like our basic functions worked. Let's see if it works with Gmail. Hit F5 to debug, open Gmail. Oh, it looks like it worked. So yeah, guys, that's basically all there is to it. That's how to set up a Walmart Siri, if you will. Something that'll do things for you just by, you know, you telling it to. I think it's pretty cool. If you think it's pretty cool, drop that like. Subscribe if you wanna see more of this content. My name is Verexity, and I will catch you later. Peace out.